Um, I wanted to talk a little bit on an introduction, really, to these ideas of, of exponential technology. And what we know now, and what I think is really the breakthrough of the century, is that there are some technologies that double in their price performance every year or two. Anything that you start doing on computers, anything that becomes an information science, becomes an exponentially advancing technology, which means that our world is going to change far more than we ever imagined or understood. This robot, 10 years ago, would have cost $5 million. And I guarantee it, you wouldn't have been going near it because it would have killed you. Five years ago, this robot would cost about half a million dollars. Today, Baxter costs 22,000 bucks, less than the cost of an employee. And Baxter doesn't need engineers to program it and teach it. The way you teach Baxter is you kind of grab Baxter's arms, and then as these like nuts are going by, you grab his arms, pick up the nuts, stick them in a box. You do that four or five times, and then Baxter goes, oh, I get it. You want me to grab these things and stick them in this box. And so the technology not only has gotten better, but it's gotten cheaper. See, it's the price performance. Technology doesn't double every year or two. The price performance of technology, how much performance you get for the price doubles, which makes it even more interesting. And so when we looked at the computing business, yeah, we knew about Moore's Law, which was this integrated circuit, but even before Moore's Law, there were transistors and vacuum tubes and relays and electromechanical devices. And this is a log chart. The real chart doesn't look like this. It's just there's no way to squish it into a chart that actually fits. And so we use this mathematical trick to sort of shrink it down so that it makes sense. But you can see that smooth line, which suggests that it's exponential. But you can even see the line is slightly curved, meaning the pace of the acceleration itself is accelerating. Even harder to understand and believe is that it's not just computing. And that was really the breakthrough, I think, that Ray Kurzweil understood. It wasn't just that it was Moore's Law, but it was even before Moore's Law. It was the computing technology. And now what he's realized is that it's a whole set of technologies. It's robotics, it's artificial intelligence, it's digital biology, it's nanotechnology. Anything that you start doing on computers, anything that becomes an information science, becomes an exponentially advancing technology.